In this lesson, we'll subdivide the exterior of our building by floors. All right, so let's chop up this building exterior by floors. So the main goal for doing that is I want to set this up in a really fast, efficient way so that I can not only separate by floors, but also locate where uh, the spandrel is going to go to kind of hide what's going on in between each floor. Now to do that, I'm going to take a similar approach that we did with our structure. So I'm going to kind of work with the line work I have from my DWG file, and I'm going to work on one tower, and in theory what happens to one tower should happen to the other. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and take the line work here that is going to represent the exterior, and I want to grab this surface. So let's double click on this DWG file here. I'm going to double click here so I can get the surface and the edges. I'm going to say Control C, and we'll scroll out here just a bit, and I'm going to adjust my view here. I'm going to click back into our main workspace, and I'm going to say Control V for paste. I'm going to place that first one here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll back in again, and I'm going to erase that surface. Now I'm just after the surface here. I want to keep my line work. So we're not totally done yet. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight everything once again. Now I'm going to say Control C. But this time I'm going to grab my pencil, and then from this corner here, I'm going to draw a line upward on my blue axis, and the distance I'm going to draw that is by how, basically by the dimension of my spandrel. So in our case, I want a six foot spandrel kind of going around, uh, all around the perimeter of my building. So I'm going to type in six feet along the blue axis, and that'll be kind of like my guide there. So while this is still highlighted, I'm going to say Control, Control C, move. I'm going to grab from this corner. I'm going to say Control V. Now I'm going to place the line work there. And I'm going to go ahead and keep this line here because I'm going to use the midpoint from this line to actually attach to each floor. So basically what we have is three feet going up and three feet going down so we can hide anything going on above or below the slab. And then we can then place a painting or texture or whatever we need for our spandrel. So now I'm going to go ahead and highlight this whole system here and I'm going to group it just so it's easier to, to work with. And I'm going to call this one uh, reference underscore spandrel. I'm going to go ahead and create that. So that gives us our line work. So now I can move this and use it however I want to. So I'm going to go ahead and double click inside and I'm going to highlight everything. I'm going to say control C. And now I'm going to jump into the right environment and I think it's this tower here. And then we're just going to place according to how it fits. So we're going to click inside, make sure I'm um, on the tower component here and I know when I am because I can highlight my uh, surface here now since we just grabbed the line work I'm just gonna say control V and I'm gonna come off here I'm gonna stay away from my model here because I don't want this to get tangled up but I do want to come here and re-grab this from this midpoint so go ahead and do move from that midpoint and now it's just a matter of placing this so to get this placed I'm going to use the midpoint of this slab as my reference, and I'm just going to, once I see it, I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to move straight across to where I see that black dashed line. So I'm going to go ahead and click. And that should have divided our surface for us. So let's see what that did. So we should have three surfaces. One, mostly glass here. Two should be our spandrel, and then three for glass. And we're going to keep, continue this process. So while we're still active with this component, I'm going to go ahead and control V once again. And again, I'm going to place this off so I can decide where I want to grab it, in our case this midpoint. And now I'm going to use my copy move uh, to move that we used uh, similar to when we were working with structure and stuff. So we can knock out some really quickly uh, quick copy and pasting moves here. So we'll go from midpoint, I'm going to snap it all the way across. Now I'm going to grab control V, should do the same thing here. Go to the next floor, go to the midpoint, Snap it all the way across, place, grab it, control V. And that's all I'm going to do all the way up. And it should subdivide this surface into many, many surfaces. So what I'll do is, is I'll go ahead and finish this for you. I'm going to do a slight pause here. And when I'm going to come back from the pause, we'll take a look at how our model looks now once we have this subdivided. All right, so I went ahead and took care of the rest of the dividing here. So what we have now is, we'll kind of look at here from the ground up. We have where our glass or our, you know, glazing treatment is going to be down here with exposed structure. But in this area here, this smaller gap is where we're going to actually have our spandrel. Now, if I want to, to kind of 
make things easier to understand and easier to follow, I'm going to go ahead and apply some paint to this just so I know. So I'm going to want my spandrel to be a really dark color. So I'm going to go with this, uh, we could say black here, and I'm just going to paint all the areas where my spandrel is going to be. Oh, I don't want to go too far. And I'm going to go ahead and paint those. And it's just going to make working around uh, this a lot easier, and it's going to make just a lot easier for me to read. So again, I'm just going to go up, and then we can keep this process going all the way around our model. Again, I'm just going to paint the spandrels. Come back here to this top area. We should be in business here. All right, and I'm not too really too worried about uh, doing it for the top here. We'll keep the top another color. Um, but I basically keep that process going all the way around and subdividing it. So basically what we did was we used copy and paste and a little bit of uh, a line work to basically create the spandrel system here. Now the benefit of the way we did it is we saved ourselves a ton of time. Now we could have went through and drew... Uh, each individual line all the way around the perimeter of our building and then done the same thing again and then kind of doing it over and over and over again but that would have taken an entire day so, so by using the copy and paste and using all the information we can from our DWG files we're able to separate this up nicely and take care of what would normally be a really tedious long painstaking process and break it down to a few clicks and a few repetitive motions with our copy move and paste so in the next lesson, we're going to go ahead and uh, continue working with the exterior of our building. Uh, I'm going to show you how we can kind of work around the structure from the second level up so that we can start placing our windows uh, inside here. So I'll meet you in the next lesson where we'll place some columns and work around the structure for the exterior of the building.